The Gobe State Government on Monday announced the state's first coronavirus death. Chairman of the state's task force on COVID-19, Idris Mohammed, disclosed this during the daily briefing on the activities of the task force. He said the deceased, a 50-year-old who had high blood pressure, died around 4 p.m. on Sunday from complications related to the virus. According to him, the deceased concealed his health status, but the task force attention was called by a neighbor to the deceased who noticed that he was seriously ill upon his return from Bochi. He said his samples were taken and they returned positive, after which he was rushed to an isolation center at the Quadon Infectious Disease Hospital for treatment. Joining us via Skype is Commissioner for Information, Gombe State, Kwame Ibrahim. Thank you for your time on the news this morning. Thank you very much. What is the reality in Gombe as regards COVID-19? Well, uh, good morning, my sister. The reality is, um, you know, so far so good. Uh, we have had, I think, about 190 positive cases. And uh, as at yesterday, uh, we have discharged uh, 72 of the patients uh, who tested negative. And uh, so far, we are having today 14 uh, patients in the isolation centers. And uh, there are 25 patients we could not... Uh, you know, really get them to the isolation centers. You know, initially, when we, after taking the sample, uh, we returned the patients home and uh, asked them to quarantine themselves, to isolate themselves in their houses according to the NCDC protocol. And, uh, you know, after the result is out, uh, we went to now get them to move them to the isolation centers. And unfortunately, I think about 25, I think, uh, disappeared there at large. So this is so far so good in Gombe. Well, so what are you doing to track down these people that ran away, even knowing that they are positive? Honestly, we are doing all it takes you know, to do that. And, uh, you know, I think uh, as at yesterday, we have even found out that two of them were, I think, spotted in Adamawa State, of which we have alerted the Adamawa State uh, Tax Force to uh, really get them, you know, and uh, get them to the isolation centers or even return them to us in Gombe here. So we are doing all the tests to get them back to the isolations, I mean, to, to the isolation centers. Okay, the knot is almost seen as the hot spot. If you compare what's going on in Kanu, Katsina, Bornu, and Bochi, are you concerned that you could be affected one way or the other with this increasing numbers? Yes, we are very much concerned. And uh, if you now look at our activity, that is our, the tax force, you know, what we did was this. Uh, knowing that, you know, we are having the epicenters, maybe Lagos and uh, Kano and other states, surrounding states. So what we did at up initial was uh, to block our borders because knowing that we don't have the case in-house. So what we did was we blocked all our borders with all those states. And uh, we have established a quarantine center at our, our NYC orientation camp. So what happens was uh, whoever that is coming into the states, we now move into the quarantine center and uh, make sure that we test, you know, him or her before now allowing them to now enter, you know, the township. So, and uh, it will interest you to know that uh, all the 119 cases were now from the quarantine center, meaning all the cases were imported into the states. So what we are now doing is now, we have now strengthened, you know, the, uh, our, our borders, you know. We've closed the borders and we have really made sure that the security operatives are there. 24-7, to make sure that whoever that is even coming into the states, now we'll now get him and test him before we allow him now entry into this. Not even only that, even those passing, you know, knowing that Gombe is a gateway to most of the uh, northeastern states, Borno, Adamawa, Taraba, you know, because before you get to all those states, you have to go th get through Gombe. So even those passing by, you know, we make sure that we test them before allowing them to, uh, to pass. Okay. And uh, even the, out of the 119, six of the, uh, the patients, you know, were now five from Adamawa and one from Borno. We stopped them over, we tested them, and uh, we now later, you know, related that to the, uh, their own states after the result was out. And right. they are now uh, in the isolation centers in those states. All yeah. right. Um, I'm afraid that's all time will allow us right now. Thank you very much for coming on the news, and we wish you well with the fight against the COVID-19. Thank you very much, my sister. Wish you well as well. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome.